päivät, naiset ja herrat. Jännitys on tiivistynyt ja tiivistyy. Vähitellen alamme ilmoittaa, miten mennään eteenpäin. Ladies and gentlemen, finally it's the time to announce the jury's decision. Deputy Mayor Hanno Penttilä. Hanno Penttilä is in charge of city planning and real estates in Helsinki. He's also president of the network of European metropolises and regions called Metrex. So he will have an important role in guiding the city of Helsinki towards sustainability and energy efficiency. So Hanno is the right person to announce the result. So Hanno, I will give you the result, but I hope you have a word to say. You can put that under. Okay, thank you, Jukka, and, uh, and it's nice to see you all, ladies and gentlemen, here in, in carbon black and, and grey suits and dresses. <laughs> but anyhow, we will start, and first some ideas concerning cities, because once again we have to to um, remember that cities were created uh, in a places where new ideas, products and prosperity came up and, and it to, the, to their citizens. citizens uh, cities have always grown in viable environments with co uh, good connectivity and near natural resources, whatever they are in, in time. These basic rules of urban development are still valid in this competition as well. 200 years ago, London, with its population of just over one million, was the world's largest city, and my hometown Helsinki was a minor center of a few thousand inhabitants. Now Helsinki is the cent central city of the metropolitan area, with a population over one million, but it is only within uh, 500 biggest world uh, and lar largest urban areas. Nowadays, more than half of the world population lives in, in cities. Therefore, the world's future questions as well are settled in cities. And that is just now the opportunity to Helsinki City to be innovative and build this city with innovative organizations like CITRA and is especially with you, dear ladies and gentlemen, in five uh, teams. By doing so and with high urban design, people in the world can recognize once again our pocket-sized Helsinki metropolitan area. Challenges to world's metropolises uh, at the present economic crisis and the population and climate change in the coming years. We, the, uh, we, uh, the cities, can meet these challenges together. Recession will be our outcome in innovative cities. Im immigration to cities gives now new vitality and strengthens our cultural sustainability. The low carbon society is best implemented as well in cities. The key to the solutions is in the express will. Good planning, like we have noticed today in all five entries, lies in the background of sustainable decisions. The Great Helsinki Vision 2050 competition as well uh, produced excellent material for this work as this competition as well. In Helsinki, the city has a big role in realizing these ideas. We can set rules more challenging than national uh, standards by leasing the land only to new development 
which will be made with the best technical solutions. And as we all know, Helsinki city owns more than 70% of all land within its boundaries. Nowadays, still the most new buildings are not at all the best level, in for example, in energy efficiency and moreover in sustainability. Most of the new buildings fulfill in Helsinki, uh, but also in other metropolitan municipalities in Helsinki region, only D-class in energy consumption. It means only little less than 200 kilo, uh, kilowatt hours per square meter in a year. We have now decided to follow that development uh, on that average level yearly with the 14 Helsinki metropolitan municipalities as one tool uh, of the Great Helsinki Vision 2050. But in Helsinki, we can't accept anything lower than A-class for new buildings uh, from this day. So, and now something more information. The winner. The winner of this competition, I, I have to say that all those five entries were excellent work and, and we can learn a lot from those uh, entries and, and proposals. But there has to be one winner, and the winner of the low 2 no sustainable development design, uh, design competition is Sea Life, City as Living Factory of Ecology. And the winning team was Arup, Saerbrug, Hatton, Experientia and Galle, Galle Eco Capital. Congratulations for all of you. But as well, I hope that this will give some congratulations to all of us. Thank you. Okay, and Marco will continue now, now by telling jury's statement or something along those lines. But I will share some insights from the jury and the competition uh, review process. And then I also want to share a little bit about our next step vision. So first of all, you can imagine, given the range of ideas and ways in which different teams positioned their know-how, that it was a very, very difficult uh, challenge for us. We had the challenge of sustainability which we had fun fundamentally said is such a lo large concept that we need to find focus. And the focus for us was carbon. Understanding that carbon alone was not, not going to answer our challenge. In our discussions, we talked a, a lot about what we called, amongst the jury, back of architecture and architecture. Meaning, what are the ideas and strategies that inform the architecture, and what is the nature of that architecture? And we went back and forth between what are great ideas and what is the quality of life that they sponsor, what's great quality of life, and what's the ideas behind them. I'm going to bore you now just to read our assessment criteria so you have a sense of what we were asking the teams in a way to respond. And I'm going to do it in shorthand because I don't want to b bother you with the long version of this. But we're looking at the efficacy and rigor of the low to no carbon solution. So what they had proposed in terms of a strategy for low to no carbon, how was it put together? The robustness of the broader holistic model of sustainability. So what else beyond this focus needed to be there? The robustness and simplicity. I think this is an important aspect. Problems are complex. We have to find the right simplifiers. So the robustness and simplicities of the indicators. How do we actually measure? This is an important aspect for it. The urban and architectural quality, the potential of it embedded in these projects. And the long-term implications of design proposals conveyed through this visual representation. The ability of the framework strategy for the proposed approach is to be replicable within similar context. This goes back to our mission at CITRA. We can't do one-off. We actually have to help create systemic change. And the feasibility of the proposals, including overall economic efficiency and life cost. So this goes back to the question of how do we get from here to there. And in our uh, deliberation, we uh, 
obviously came to a, a decision. The decision was unanimous, and we felt that sea life best represented uh, these assessment criteria and the objective of the competition. I'll just bore you a little bit by actually reading a very brief statement. The team proposals best met the low to no competition assessment criteria. Furthermore, the jury found great promise in the outline strategy that combined both a clear top-down as well as a bottom-up strategy for leveraging the Yatkasari opportunity in the spirit of the low to no challenge. The jury felt that particularly the consumer slash behavioral framework coupled with monetary slash economic model brought the best balance to this holistic strategy. So I'd like to maybe a round of applause to the Sea Life team once more. Let me go on by saying that the jury felt that that was not uh, where we ought to end. But so they had some recommendations. So the jury recommends that Citra work with the selected strategy and team. Furthermore, the jury found great strength and innovation in the spectrum of strategies captured by the five proposals. I think many of you will see and perhaps even agree that what we saw today was a terrific range of opportunities. So as such, the jury recommends that Citra continue a working relationship with all proposals. So let me now shift to sort of what our next steps are. We're working with the Sea Life team to, in a way, bring those ideas to fruition in the city block. So we have one winner, but we actually have six winners. Because in addition to that, we want to work with all five teams to do two things. One is to have all the teams uh, develop a strategic memo for us that can help inform decision makers at the highest levels and right through the whole ecosystem in terms of what the opportunity is, what the hurdles are, and what we need to do to get from here to there. Getting this five different perspectives in front of decision makers I think will be a very useful tool to all of us. The other thing is we want to continue our working consultancy relationship with the five teams and help advance this uh, mission further in the future by opening up the dialogue of opportunities. We will be following up later with some of these things and you'll hopefully see that uh, in the general discourse. So I think that's really all I'm going to say right now unless, Yuka, I forgot something, but I probably not. But I'd like to thank you very much. I know Yuka has a few words. And then uh, this is really not the end, but it's the beginning, which means even though this ends, there's still wine, and, and you will be seeing us soon again. Thanks. Just to make sure. <clears throat> Just to make sure two sentences in Finnish. Hannu, että ilmoitit, että tästä lähtien rakennetaan vain A-luokkaan Helsingissä. Se pienet askeleet ovat tärkeitä ja nyt se on otettu se ensimmäinen askel. Kiitos. Finally, I want, want to thank especially the five international teams for excellent ideas and work, and the jury, City of Helsinki and other partners who help us to make everything possible. And special thanks to, to Marco, Tuula, Janika, Johanna, Maiju, Juha and the Citra team. Thank you all.